former Yakuza wandering around. Doesn't that weigh on your conscience? Yeah, you know, it's kind of like when I was partnered with Twitch TV for many, many years and ne never had a problem with me. And all of a sudden, a group of my detractors put together a smear campaign against me saying all this stuff about me that wasn't true. And then Twitch was so stupid, they just believed it and kicked me out of the partner program. Stationary nigger, negative 75% damage. God, there's a black woman coming up. Ah! Fiddle's a nigger. It's literally what's happening with him. But it's all online slander, just like with me. Literally, it's just a, my story. People just making shit up online slander based on no facts, just fucking conspiracy. And it's ruining his life like they're trying to ruin mine. I'm a network specialist. RGB if you're a complete idiot, and I'm not even gonna address what you just said because it's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. Sorry if I offended, I just figured you'd want insight. RGB, I'm really had it with you now. I'm gonna tell you one more time. You gotta shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, you wanna address how you treated me like a dunce and replayed your intro for me because I said exactly this to you? Fuck off and get banned and don't come back. Input delay is actually the same on PC as PS5 and Xbox Series X. GT, you are completely wrong, and if you say one more incorrect thing, you're out of here. Because I'm tired of people coming to my chat, spouting incorrect facts, thinking they know what the fuck they're talking about. Really? You don't trust Digital Foundry? What reason? Okay, I've had enough. GT, you're gone. You're a moron. This is, this is literally my story. This, I think someone watches me and made this game. They wrote the game based on my story. It all makes sense. <laughs> that's gotta be oh my I'm god. Like well, that's the story of this game. Not gonna lie. It's very cringe that you are comparing yourself to this game. It's giving, he's just like me for real, for real vibes. I don't know what the fuck idiots are talking about with memes and shit. Oh, it's like, he's just like me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't follow your dumb fucking memes. So take your meme and show it up your fucking ass because I have the ability to make an observation that's factually fucking based. Just because I'm dark side Phil doesn't mean I get to ignore fucking facts that the characters in this game are going through what I go through on a daily fucking basis. Shut the fuck up! I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the fuck it is. People in the chat right now. Uh, 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 shut the fuck up and eat it. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. It's a fucking fact. That the characters in that game are going through what I have factually gone through on a daily fucking basis for years. So shut the fuck up. I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're going to tell me I can't make a factual observation? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Enough is enough with this shit. Yeah, King be cruel. King be bitch. You're going to say dumb shit like that in fucking chat? And everyone else who said that too. Because people in the comments, all my haters saying it in their videos. So now we know what you're watching every fucking day. Right? You dumb fuck. Shut the fuck up. No one cares about your bitch ass, memeable opinions. There's facts, there's reality, and then there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet. Where you circle jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense. And no one fucking cares about you except... Your circle jerking community. The problem is there's too many of you. There's too many fucking idiots. And enough is enough with this shit. It's time to call it out. Just because I'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean I don't get to make a factual observation. I can say whatever the fuck I want and you like it. Or you shut the fuck up. Now, you got a problem with that? Test me, bitch.
because I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm not. There is an entire culture of stuff on the internet based on this level of hatred, based on this level of hearsay and tabloid bullshit. And it's ruining people's lives. And mine is one of them. There is literally no fucking reason whatsoever that I should not be in the Twitch partner program. Zero. I never did a damn thing to deserve that treatment. Anytime that I do something even slightly wrong, oh, here you go, here's all the evidence of everything Phil's ever done wrong in his 15 plus years on the internet. That's not how it fucking works. That's not fair. That's, you're a bunch of bitches. Every one of you is a little coward. Really, you're all nobodies. The people who do that shit, you're fucked up. You're broken in the fucking head. Everyone, and every one of you bitch ass content creators out there. Well, all you do is talk shit about people all day and you call it the news. You're the most worthless humans on earth. Right now, if you all had finger snapped away by Thanos, no one would care. You're all replaceable. Every one of you has nothing to add concretely to this planet, nothing positive. You're nothing but a blight on the fucking planet. You're a big hemorrhoid on all of our fucking asses. We're trying to make a positive living and help people on this planet. You're the problem. Not us, the ones who you abuse. You're the fucking problem. Get it? If you go away, the world's a better place. I want you to think about that. Now, I'm allowed to say whatever the fuck I want. And if you don't like it, you can literally suck my scrotum. Because it doesn't matter what your opinion is, it's a fact. Fuck off. Why don't I get a gaming PC? I don't know, Bjorn. Why don't you buy me one and send me one? Since you think it's so easy, go ahead. Send me a nice high-end gaming PC in the mail. I'll, I'll use it next week. Thanks for the offer. <laughs> Listen, everyone on this planet is going through something different, and you got to walk in their shoes to understand it, and sometimes it's not even possible. Please be understanding. Please be nice to people this time of year if you can. And if someone's being a grunt, well, there's probably a good reason they are. All right? Don't get on their case. Who sits through this rubbish? You obviously do. You're the idiot complaining about it in the chat. Hundreds of other people are sitting here enjoying, but you're wasting your time and your life away. So who's the real loser here? Please be understanding. Please be nice to people this time of year if you can. If someone's being a grunt, well, there's probably a good reason they are. All right? Don't get on their case. Yes, Andy Young, people who rebroadcast me every single time that I stream without my permission, they rebroadcast me to get content for themselves because they don't have any original content for themselves. They're all hacks. So they just rebroadcast me and literally sit there and criticize me as if I suck or something, but they're morons. Anyway, I don't care about that. BITW awesome, I'm gonna time you out. And if you continue, I'm gonna say this right now. If you continue to spot your nonsense in this chat, you're not gonna be here anymore. Time and time again, I've disproven what you're saying. You have no idea what you're saying. You only say it because you think you know better than me, you don't. I ran a business for 15 years, not you. So unless you have evidence that you've done what I've done for 15 years and you can actually accrue for the amount of time that I'm doing here every day, I think you should shut the hell up. Don't ever say that ever again in my chat or you'll be permanently gone. It's very disrespectful. I don't care. I want nothing to do with any of it. I want nothing to do with any of those idiots. All they do is create drama for people on the internet because they have no content, no talent, and absolutely no useful anything on this life or existence on Earth. If they disappeared tomorrow, we'd all be fine. In fact, in some cases, we'd all be better off. So I don't care about those idiots and what they do. And I'm glad that I stuck to my guns and I stayed away from all of that nonsense. Uh, Who are they? You don't know Frodo and Samwise from the Lord of the Rings movies? Really? Well, if you don't, then screw you. What I love is when you get idiotic things said like this in the chat. He says, it's you, it's not the game. Oh, so that's why when I was playing Street Fighter VI, there was tons of attention and views. And now when I'm playing Tekken 8, there's not. Because it's me playing it. That makes no fucking sense. You're an idiot. Bye-bye. I love this dunce level stuff like that. Completely worthless feedback. Not constructive at all. Just moronic stuff that some idiot says because they don't like me. Anyway, continuing on positively, this is literally only the second plug I've done since I turned on the stream two hours ago. And this guy just said in the chat, the begging from this guy is unreal. The amount of drool that must come out of your mouth on a daily basis is unreal. 
Anyway. Boy, you guys don't listen. Did I not say it's my channel and I take care of it? Did I not the other day have words with someone publicly on this stream when I said that they went over the, bo the bounds and they should never do that ever again? Did I not literally do that? So could you shut the fuck up now? Thank you. Happy holidays. Shut up. It's my channel. I'll take care of that stuff. If you see it and I'm ignoring it or missing it, let me know. I, I appreciate the notifications. But for people to sit here gossiping in the chat about this stuff is not going to fly. And if I see it, you're going to get timed out too. Little gossiping of like like children, especially during the holiday season, is not appreciated nor acceptable here. So I want to give you a quick rundown of what's okay and what's not okay in DSP's chat. So let's go over what's not okay in DSP's chat. Ban, ban, ban as fast as you can. That was the only post in the chat. They got either banned or timed out. That's why you see the picture in gray. Love you, Dave. That grayed out either ban or timeout. More than likely a ban. I'm gonna go over what is okay to say in our buddy Dark Sidefield chat. On twitch.tv, the site for Golden Boys, report them trolls apes. That's okay. Is Tevin the troll? That apparently got that guy either timed out or banned. He got AIDS, so you can say Tevin has AIDS in this chat, perfectly fine. I'd kill Tevin. Well, obviously, this is perfectly okay. Will you, I give you all my money I won in Vegas in 21 if you do. So Obi-Wan Kenobi from Dark Side Fields chat on Twitch has confirmed that he is willing to pay the attendee all the money he won in Vegas if he kills Tevin. This is still a perfectly fine chat conversation. I mean, obviously it is because neither one of these people got timed out or banned and uh, DSP didn't discipline him at all. And no mods disciplined him at all. Apparently I hurt his family, even though I never contacted him directly or never contacted his family directly. I guess I do what everybody else on the internet does. Well, this fucking shocks me. What happens in here stays in here just like Vegas. Well, don't know how I'm doing this video. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I won a thousand dollars in Vegas. He said to Wumi OS. Is that gonna, is that going to feel or the hit man? He didn't respond to that quick rundown of what's okay to say and what's okay to do on twitch.tv especially in dark side fields chat and what's not okay to do Fuck, you suck again. One random lucky hit. Fuck this. Blogging. Dude, I don't want to fucking play anymore. I really don't. None of these matches are fucking legit, competent gameplay. It's fucking people mashing shit. And it fucking beats everything I do, and I can't even defend against it. You fucking terrible. You are fucking Damn. terrible. I literally can't block any of the moves. They all fucking hit for free. No fucking brain. So every match has been shit. Literally, every fucking match. I can't learn anything when people are just spamming the same shit over and over, button spam, button spam. No opportunity to learn, no opportunity to interrupt, no opportunity to block. Just keep spamming. Non-stop spam. Fucking idiots. Jesse, I'm about to ban you for being a fucking idiot. Shut up. Ah, nothing. Dude, this is ridiculous. Every fucking button he put- Jab, 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 jab. Can't stop the jab. Beats every fucking input I do. Every fucking input I press, the jab stuff. Wow, you're a great player. Why does that beat my heat? Why does he spam that move and it beats my fucking heat that's supposed to have fucking super armor? You suck. Another terrible player. Everyone at this level is fucking shit. Literally, everyone at this player is a shitty player spamming fucking moves. What an asshole. What a fucking horrible player. That's it, she spammed. Oh, I'm just gonna press heat. Here we go. Oh, he's near me. Heat. No intelligent thought. You suck, dude. You fucking suck. You literally just stood there and did safe kick. Safe kick. Safe kick. Safe kick. You're so good because everything you do is safe. This is... I'm just going to play the game anymore now. Get to this level. Everything they do is a safe spam move online. 
He didn't fucking do anything. He did the same safe move 4,000 fucking times, you asshole. The same thing, spam. Can't beat it because I don't know how to block it or don't know how to punish it. So you get away with just doing it endlessly because you're a fucking idiot. They're all terrible. Every one of these fucking players is terrible. It shows you they're all the same. Every fucking person I was an idiot who sucks at fighting games who learned one abusable thing that they do en masse and you can't beat it unless you study the game like a fucking idiotic encyclopedic knowledge, you know, broker. How the fuck am I gonna have time for that? No, I don't have more time to do that than the average person, you fucking and tremendous douchebag moron. I have a life. I have a variety streamer. I have no time to sit here and study this shit. I've watched videos online and I can't learn because I've, I've re reached the limit of what I'm going to learn to studying top players because they're not facing the nonsense that I'm facing. They're not facing spam at all. None of these players are good. I fought one good player tonight, that Claudio at the beginning of my stream. That was literally the only player who has any knowledge of fucking fighting games. Everyone else is a fucking idiot. Every single person tonight is a fucking idiot. A 141,000 point Azucena. This should be a quick spanking. I, dude, I can't even do this. This is so dumb. You literally did nothing. I hit you on fight. You were crouched. I hit you with a move. She spammed a button. Counter hit. Why is it a counter hit? You're a disadvantage. I push you back. Now you get a giant combo. Push me to the corner. Can't get out of the corner because she tracks and fucking button mashes the bullshit in the corner. You can't get out. Trash. That is trash gameplay. You didn't fucking earn a hit. You got lucky and somehow you recovered. After I made you crumple, you recovered first. Figure that one out. When do I attack? When do I attack when it's a non-stop string? Why are there so many characters like this in the fucking game? You can just keep attacking. I have no way to stop it. You just keep spamming buttons. This should be a quick spanking. Does anyone have any any answers for what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to do to fight these people. And there's literally no one here helping me. No one knows how to fucking give me any advice. So it's just gonna, I'm losing. I might as well fucking stop playing. I'm never gonna learn to these fucking button mashing idiots because this shit is so abusable on fucking line. It's terrible. This is fucking shit, dude. Sadly, tonight, we don't have anyone in chat who seems to know much about the game to help me. Because no one can help me explain all that shit that was beating me earlier. Because I don't have anyone here who has knowledge to tell me, oh, here's how you beat that spammed move. So I just lose to fucking button scrubs. I don't know, I don't know what to do. And there's no one who can help me in chat. So I just lose a non-stop. And got to duck. Ducking doesn't work. Ducking still hits you because ducking only ducks highs. It doesn't duck mids or lows. So it goes, it, you still get hit in the face. Ducking is not the solution. That's a stupid answer. Because everyone says that and it never works. Every time I duck, I get hit get in the face and you And you battle. say, Flash is the fastest move. Yes, and Flash has a range of this. So it doesn't stop the jab spam either. It gets hit. So both answers you gave me are wrong. I would like a real answer from someone. I sidestep, still hits me. And someone in the chat says, oh, decisive, everything Lars does. I sidestep, immediately get hit. Great advice. That's game. I sidestep, every single time I sidestep, Lars tracks and hits me. Congratulations, great advice. Really, I'm really glad that I'm listening to people who are know-it-alls about attacking. Just sidestep everything Lars does. He doesn't hit. Every single hit tracks and hits me. <laughs> Every one in a row. <laughs> JD Graham, what the fuck is Guillotine Crow Trap? Just tell me what that is. Don't spam it in the chat. No one knows what that is. What the fuck is Guillotine Crow Trap? <laughs> right? Explain. He's like, use that as a high mid reversal for when they're spamming. What is that? No one knows what that is. Explain what the move is. <laughs> Does anyone have any any answers for what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to do to fight these people. And by the way, no one apparently no one in chat knows anything because no one's helping me. No one's saying a word. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fight that character. Paris, you're in Paris. Thought Dan is in Paris. It's reading from Paris. I'm a big fan. What's it like? What's life like in Paris? I want to know. Is are all the stereotypes true? Does everyone go around wearing striped? White and black shirts and berets, riding unicycles, eating cheese, drinking wine in the streets, grapes, feasting on grapes. Is that what it's like there? Does everyone say ha 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 before they speak? <laughs> Every possible awful stereotype. They're all true, right? Every one of them. Rebecca says, How long is your documentary going to be? Well, let's see. The documentary has not filmed anything, the documentary is still in the planning stages. I'm not making the documentary, so I might not be the right person to ask, but I think that the, the target time frame is about an hour, okay? Kind of silly to ask me that question in January, just saying. <laughs> Why do you criticize LTG for playing with kids' toys when you quite literally play with a bubble blower at age 40? Because I don't. It's the viewers who pester me. 
if we happen to hit 100 likes on a stream, to blow bubble. It was something silly that I did years ago, I'll be honest. I don't really like doing it anymore because it gets bubbles all over the office. I, I maybe come to the point where I just say we're not doing it ever again. Okay? So nice try, because the difference here is that this is a rarity thing that we do every once in a while when people pester me for it. That's different than LTG going out actively buying a children's toy, putting it on his hand, putting up giant segments, literally long segments about him playing with his plastic gems and banning people based on the gems. Like, how do you not understand the difference? Oh, that's right, because you're a fucking idiot. So thanks for the dollar tip, you stupid fucking idiot. Seriously, I mean, anyone with common sense can, can get an answer out of that without being a moron. I mean, you're a fucking moron. But a common user, a common creator, would never use their site, ever. That is the worst model I've ever heard of. It's incredibly stupid. In fact, despite and this, having... this, this is the CEO. This genius knows what she's doing, right? Harvard graduate. Fucking idiot. <laughs> this star rune, I'm just not going to respond to you anymore because you're trying to make an exciting finale of a game all about you. What the fuck, dude? Just grow the fuck up. Seriously, I mean it. I'm in the middle of a game that's a really exciting ending. I'm trying to get into it. Oh, Phil's not reading every cheer I am and micro-analyzing. This could all be a figment of someone's imagination. Shut the fuck up. Seriously, shut up. You're stupid. Okay. Since people are intent on ruining the playthrough, because this is what they're trying to do, you can all get the fuck out now. So here we go. Like, I don't know that you're all from, from the same group of people. Like, I don't know who you really are anyway. Even though you've been in here the past few days cheering and shit, like, I don't know who you all are. Okay. So here we go. But don't worry, because these people will be back begging to come back. They will. They'll be begging to come back within a day. I'm in the finale of a game, action-packed finale, of a game that people were wondering what the heck this game was. We just got a huge twist, really exciting finale. I'm going overtime on my stream to finish the game for everyone. Let's just distract everyone and do- Oh, he's not reading every cheer I that I'm doing immediately. It's a little brat mentality. Shut the fuck up, the stream's not about you. Now you got other people, why would you show up to people like that? No, you're out of here. Enough is enough. In the middle of the finale of a fucking game that's been building for a long time and we finally get this crazy twist, but you're more important than everyone watching and me playing, I need to derail it for you and your 50-bit cheer, okay? Here's what you can do, Ninstar Rune. You can go fuck yourself and never come back, and I mean that. Don't ever ask to come back because you're not you're not the kind of person I want watching the stream. You're the person who tries to derail the stream constantly with nonsense, and I don't need your cheers to fucking survive. I can make do without Ninstar Rune being a 50-bit bitch and derailing my streams with negativity, nonsense, and stupid shit. We're all trying to have a good time on the stream, but we gotta be derailed by an idiot. Go fuck yourself. Don't ever come back. This game 100% was parallel with my life. The amount of people who just sit there online saying awful things about me, trying to ruin my life, trying to ruin everything that I do. I'm way more wealthy right now in my life than I ever was in the last decade, you understand? But that's what people like them will never understand. They don't get it because they're losers. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my Super Bowl event for 2024. And my wife has just made something awesome. She found the recipe online. They are called Pizza Bombs. Take a look at this. Oh my god. Oh. Is pastry dough. Well, actually I think it's a biscuit dough. All right. That is seasoned with Italian seasonings. And then inside of each dough is mozzarella cheese with turkey pepperonis. And then on top of each one, she sprinkled a little bit more Parmesan cheese. And then you bake them in the oven to get this awesome handheld treat. And then you dip them in marinara sauce. Which I have right here. So shout out to my wife, an amazing cook who's making food all day. I'll be back later with more food. But for now, I gotta get back to gaming and drinking, so see you then. Hey, don't even go anywhere, because I'll be back in like two minutes, and then we're going to be again. Okay. Alright, so who was talking shit in the chat when I was gone? Because my wife was watching the stream, and she says that people are talking shit, so let's take a fun thing here. Here we go. Let's see. 
What part was authentic? The oregano? This is Super Bowl food. It's supposed to be American snack food you make quick for the Super Bowl. Enjoy your band. Let's see. Did she make the dough, the sauce, the cheese? Signs of a great cook? This is American Super Bowl food. Snack food to make during the day. She's cooking three times. Enjoy your band. Who's next? You want to sit here and be little dumb kids because I'm not in here. And you're going to talk shit on the stream. No, you're not. Little bitches. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. That was delicious. That was super good, and I'm happy. That was the very first piece of food, and two more coming today. I'm very excited. Why am I toxic? I'll show you what my wife made me today. Amazing homemade quesadillas. Like, super loaded. Look at that. Look how much is in there. It's insane. And then she made seven-layer dip. <laughs> Seven layer. It's like tomatoes, beans, guacamole, uh, 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 olives, green onions, cheese. There's something else in there. I don't even know what else is in there. That's incredible. Oh my god. It's so good. Yeah. Mmm. Stealth Guild did a super chest. Can you chew with your mouth closed, please? No. I can only chew with my mouth open to annoy you. I do it on purpose, actually, to make sure that people who are really, like, like entitled whiny bitches on the internet are very annoyed. That's why I do it, actually. So thank you for the super chat. As I enjoy this amazing dip. <laughs> Oh, Stealth Guild did another super chat. Says it's not. I'm not entitled. It's basic table manner. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we at a table? Are we sitting at a five star restaurant at a table? Are we? Uh, is Grandma M Moses sitting in the corner? Is very upset with you because of your manners? I'm sorry. Is that what the atmosphere was tonight? With me in my jersey, drinking Long Island iced tea, commentating on an NFL game that I don't even know the players in the game. <laughs> Just the utmost professionalism here on DSP Gaming, right? I'm sorry. Should I get a doily and put it down here on my computer stand that I'm eating on? Should I tuck a napkin into my neck as well to make sure that we're at the utmost of manners? You buffoon. <laughs> Yikes. All the shit you put up with, right? All the shit you put up with, all the harassment, all the stuff online. So you gotta understand something. Like, my life is amazing. I love my wife. My wife loves me. We take care of each other. We have the best relationship of anyone I've, e I've ever had in my life. And people don't get that. They don't get that. Oh, but you're Mr. Small Time on YouTube and you're just a little... Who gives a fuck? I'm happy with my life. So it doesn't matter about your virtual bullshit online. I'm happy with who I am in life. So I don't care about what you say. None of it matters, man. Fucking Turkey Tom is going to sit there. Oh, 10 years of failure. 10 years of failure... As you sit there behind your fucking computer, researching detractor memes about me for a month, editing together a two-hour documentary about me, I'm the 10-year failure, but I'm the one enjoying my life, and you have to fucking sift through their bullshit to get a video to make money. While I get to sit here and play games all day with fun people and have a good time with my life, and then walk out of this office and have a good life, you're sitting there sifting through detractor shit all day. So who had the 10 years of failure? What the fuck are you talking about? So I love that dumb shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You're out of your mind. That's what the internet doesn't understand. They think that everything is based on arbitrary success and failure based on views on your videos and shit. Who gives a fuck about all of that? You know? Some of the most successful creators are miserable fucking people who are scumbags. So why do I want to care about them or be like them? I don't. You know, love is what matters, man. Mix water, we're worried about you. You're worried about me because I'm spouting facts. Okay. People don't like facts. They don't. They're afraid of them. The, again, they look at someone like me. All these YouTubers out there, they look at me and they say, how can he be happy? He's small time. Everyone makes fun of him constantly. Everyone hates on him constantly. Because I, I listen, I love my job. I love my personal life. I make a living doing it. Why do I give a shit about any of the other white noise? Really, I don't have to, to, to worry, I don't have to scrape and claw to get by. 
I don't have to worry about being canceled. I can't be canceled. <laughs> right? I don't have to sift through detractor shit of people crapping on people constantly to put out videos. I don't have to crap on people to be, be negative to make videos. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I don't have to crap on people to be negative to make videos. I don't have to do any of that stuff. Reality is, I'm happy. My wife is happy. We have a good life together. Why do we care about you and what you think? It's all bullshit. It's all people just trying to make a, a you know, make, make do on YouTube through the negative shit they do. So why do I care? I don't care at all. Make 5 million documentaries about me. I don't give a fuck. And it's like, people are actually going to make negative videos about this and be like, oh, look, Phil only made $200 on his stream. Meanwhile, so-and-so's restreamer got 10 times more views than him and made way more money. And so-and-so this talk shit about him all day. And I don't care. I don't care about you. No one should. No one with a brain should, anyway. It's the end of the third quarter. Wow, everybody. I'm Phil, and I'm back with an official episode of DSP Tries It. Tonight, I'm going to try a product from another YouTuber and see if it's good. And if it's good, I'm going to be honest with you and tell you it's good. If it's not good, I'm going to tell you what it actually tastes like. Okay? Today, we are going to be tasting Mr. Beast candy bars. On here, we've got Mr. Beast Bar Milk Chocolate. The other one is called Mr. Beast Bar Crunch, you know. Uh, it says milk chocolate made with, I can't even read it, grass-fed milk. So I care, apparently, what they fed the cow, whose udders they squeeze to create the milk that they put into the milk chocolate. I'm supposed to care about this. That's important, apparently. Um, only five ingredients. For the record, this bar is tiny. It's 1.24 ounces or 35 grams. A standard candy bar is no exaggeration, at least two times as big as this bar. I would consider this a snack size. I wouldn't consider this a full size bar, but this is what they sell at the store, like at the checkout line. And the normal price for a Mr. Beast small snack size bar is $1.99. $2. For this snack size candy bar, when you can get a big Nestle Crunch or a big Snicker bar or whatever for actually cheaper than that. When you can get a big Nestle Crunch or a big Snicker bar or whatever for actually cheaper than that. These bars are very expensive. $20 for a tiny little bar. Let's take a look at the ingredients. So this is the milk chocolate bar. Cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liqueur, organic milk, and organic vanilla powder. Now, just for the record, if you were to ask a scientist, is there a reason why you should eat organic foods over standard foods, they would tell you no. Organic foods are myth. It's a, it's a wives' tale that organic foods are better than non-organic foods. But it's such a big myth that it's an entire bajillion dollar industry. Like, you go to any grocery store now, you'll find a whole organic section, even though there's literally no scientific evidence that organic ingredients are better for you than non-organic. They still sell them for a premium price. You understand? So, to tell me it's a five ingredient organic chocolate bar and because of that you're paying $2 for this tiny bar as opposed to a ginormous normal chocolate bar that would be less than $2, it, it means nothing to me. But I would never pay extra for organic, it's stupid. There's literally no evidence of any of it. it, it again, it's like, a, it's like a, a, a conspiracy and people are that dumb that they buy into that when there's no evidence of anything that is better. I feel like I'm having a stroke listening to this guy trying to like 
I'm trying to rationalize having organic forces modify, dude. This dude prides himself on all of the organic shit that he can get. Fresh over frozen, fresh over frozen. We, we heard it so much today. And oh now it's like a myth? God. These are fresh, homemade fucking quesadillas and the fresh, homemade seven layer dip. Fresh ingredients. Uh, you know, organic shit doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna rate it fairly. This is supposed to be made of all these organic ingredients, and maybe that's why it's $2 for this tiny bar, you know? But th the organic ingredients don't matter. They don't make anything taste better. They're not better for you. It's all a myth. So if you're going to be a YouTuber and you're going to make a unique product, do you go with a bunch of myths and mark up your product to make a massive profit? I guess if your name's Mr. Beast, yes, that's what you do. Uh. On the very top of the bar is a share and it has a small snap-off piece. And at the very bottom, it's a giant chunk that says devour at the bottom. Devour, devour, devour. I know it's supposed to be a joke, but that's kind of mean-spirited. Share, give you this tiny piece while I keep the giant portion at the bottom. Wow, that's a really fun, positive-spirited candy bar, isn't it? Especially because you have to understand that someone like Mr. Beast appeals to kids. And probably kids are the vast majority of people who watch this stuff on YouTube. And you're teaching the kid, if you're going to share, only share this tiny top portion with everyone else and keep the rest for yourself. It's a good moral lesson to teach to people, right? I'm sure he came up with that idea, too. It smells pretty sweet. It's very sweet. For milk chocolate. It's like really sweet. Why is it so sweet? This tastes way more sweet to me than Hershey's milk chocolate. Like it tastes like there's way more sugar in it for some reason. I want you to really think about that, man. If you were eating dark chocolate, I'd understand if your complaint was it is too sweet. Dude is literally eating milk chocolate. It is as sweet as it comes. That is literally the bullshit chocolate that you eat that will have sugar in it. Why are we complaining about milk chocolate being too sweet? I'm gonna try the other one. This is the crunch ball. Do you notice something about that bar? Take a look at the rice. Where's the rice? Only at the direct bottom. You see that, right? Bro, we are literally complaining that the fucking rice candy bar doesn't have enough rice. The filler. The filler that you would complain if there was too much of. It's just only at the bottom. He's finding it's anything. Pretty, it's pretty bad. He's finding anything, anything, anything to anything, shit on this dude. To it. And we don't have only anything to work with. We're pulling shit out of a hat. Okay. He's like a magician. I cannot. I, it says the rice in the crunch bars is mostly on the bottom too. I haven't had one of them. It is. Minute. It really is. It sinks to the bottom. As it sits yeah. there and it goes through a fucking little thing to rest on, it sinks to the bottom. That's how it works. This tiny thin layer of rice they put at the bottom is not enough to taste the rice in it at all. These bars are absolutely identical to me. I see no difference between the two at all. You might as well buy the same one twice because it doesn't matter. The chocolate's too sweet. It's creamy. That's good. It melts in your mouth. That's good. It's not chalky like real knockoff chocolate. He used good ingredients. I can't say anything negative about this selection of ingredients, it sounds like he used good ingredients. The problem is the balance is off. This bar is way too sweet. Even for milk chocolate, this bar is too sweet for me. I would go buy Hershey's, I would go buy Nestle's, I would buy any other company before I would buy a Mr. Beast bar because this is too sweet. Again, you might argue, well, it's only five ingredients and they're all organic. I don't care. Number one, when you're eating chocolate, you're not eating it for your health, genius. You're not eating chocolate to get healthy. This is your splurge. This is your comfort food. This is your dessert. You don't need it to be healthy. That's stupid. Anyone who says otherwise is a fucking moron. You don't need organic ingredients in your chocolate bar. You're a dunce. You're gonna pick out, you're gonna pick out, I guess. I mean if you're gonna pick out, go the extra mile is essentially what he's saying. Don't pussy out and get this organic shit. So says the man who loves fresh and homemade everything and despises fast food and greasy foods and oily foods and frozen foods. But, but if you're gonna pick it out, just pick out. That's positive about this. It's very simple. 
It's not a shitty chocolate bar. This bar is crap. What a shocker that a YouTuber, all right, who makes the kind of content that he does and dabbles in so many businesses, his ghost kitchen burger business that went out of business, now his chocolate business, that it's inferior. Mr. Beast standard chocolate bar, I'm gonna give it a one and a half star out of five. Way overpriced, too sweet, not good. That's positive about it. It's very simple. It's not a shitty chocolate bar. The Mr. Beast Crunch Bar, I'm gonna give a one star out of five because it doesn't taste like a Crunch Bar because I don't taste any rice in it. It's terrible. Don't buy this shit, really. Do not buy this trash. Do not spend money on this crap. If you want to waste your time watching bad YouTube videos, I can't stand it. I, I can't help you. Rasan, the truth is, there's a lot of injustice in the world that goes unseen. And some people decide it's easier to be part of the problem than- But don't waste your money on this. The competitors know what they're doing. Around the year 2000, Nestle, Cadbury's, and Mars got in some hot cocoa for using forced, trafficked, and child labor to harvest cocoa beans for their chocolate brands. Don't waste your money on this. The competitors know what they're doing. By the way, he didn't make it. It says right on it, it's a company called Feastables, and then happens to have Mr. Beast's name on there. That's his company! That's his co- even- I don't even watch the motherfucker, I know that's his company! It's the brand! It's his company! I... They ate the deal! Oh my god. The makes the he didn't make the chocolate bar. Don't waste your money on this crap. Go support companies that know what they're doing and have been doing it for hundreds of years. Go support companies that know what they're doing and have been doing it for hundreds of years. And we'll continue to make quality products. Stop supporting the flash in the pan popular crap from today. All right? Seriously, don't waste your time. Bad sportsmanship. People, I want, thank you to I want you to, I want everyone to understand there are people who could not see. They had no vision. Their vision was robbed. They can now see again because of Mr. Beast and DSP, Disp Gaming, Phil, PP, Paul Burnell just said Mr. Beast is a failure. More people than ever can see the world for the very first time or whatever because of a guy named Mr. Beast. I and because he does entrepreneurial shit on the side, like buy chocolate companies and sell candy bars, his entire business and livelihood is a failure, but don't call DSP a failure. No, he doesn't have, no, it's not a decadent failure, shut up. There are more people that were granted sight by Mr. Beast than people actually watching an average Phil Burnell DSP gaming video. True. In a week.